Danny Segura for MMA Junkie. I'm here in South Florida at Kill Cliff. I'm here with Phil Haas, who returns to the Octagon at the end of the month against Roman Dolitz. Uh, first of all, Phil, we're about four weeks away from your fight. At what point are you in your training camp, and uh, how's this preparation been going so far? Uh, right now, we're just like fine tuning, you know what I mean? Just like uh, increasing the cardio, uh, making sure we're strong enough for the fight, and just, you know, just some cruise control, kind of. But yeah, we're, we're going to be ready to go 29th. So I'm excited. It's going to be good. Uh, fairly uh, a quick turnaround, right? You you didn't fight like that long ago against the wrong win. Do you like the activity? Do you like staying busy? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, activity is a huge thing. Being active, always staying um, in the octagon, you know, it helps your performances. And I just want to keep that momentum going on from my last performance to this one and um, to the next one, to the title fight. So we just got to keep it rolling. And uh, tell me about th this opponent. Size him up for me, Roman. Um, what do you, what have you made of him? And overall, like, what are you expecting once you guys get in the cage? Man, he's gonna be tough. You know, everyone in the UFC is tough. Uh, my last opponents all been tough. You know, but man, I'm tougher. You know, I, it might be a dog fight, but I feel like I can knock him out in the first round. I, I plan on knocking him out. Uh, the the mission is simple. You know, throw heat seeking bombs at his head for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna get him out of there. And talk to me about that performance against uh, Duran Win. And, and you already talked about it with the media afterwards, but I kind of want to get your thoughts on, on the post fight. I know you and DC had a little bit of a thing. You guys uh, squashed it already, but what, what happened there? What was that sort of moment? Yeah, it was. Um, I was in, I was in my, in my in my bag, in my feelings a little bit. But long story short, me and DC we talked a couple months prior, and he was like, "Yeah, come train, come train." Two weeks later, I'm booked to sign his boy Duran. You know, and. and uh, Duran's not going to be get, say, okay, I'll fight this guy without his mentor. DC saying, okay. So that, I took that personally. Of course, you should take, we're fighting. Everything's personal to me. I took it personal. Uh, I beat his boy up. And then I was like, all right, what's up now? You know what I mean? You picked the wrong pony. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, do you, I guess this is more not specifically to DC, but just in general. How do you feel about um, former fighters or even active fighters commentating on fights, right? Because that's been a topic of conversation. Sometimes, you know, they could be biased. Uh, there's that thrown around. Do you feel any different about having somebody narrate your fight that has a teammate fighting against you? Um, no, not, not really. I wouldn't say uh, teammate. I, I do like having ex-fighters commentate because they, as a fan, as a spectator, I do like listening because they do give some key points. Like Dom's really good at that. Uh, DC's also good at that, uh, just like the grappling positions, you know. Um, so I like having the ex-fighters commentate uh maybe if they're friend or not i'm not sure but yeah and uh, i gotta ask you about this um this title fight coming up in your division at asanya versus uh, pereira in november a lot of people are kind of just throwing their arms up and kind of guessing like what the hell is going to happen obviously pereira has beat him twice in kickboxing but this is mma but at the same time israel asanya is not like he's going to go there and shoot a double or at least what we expect so what, do you, what are your thoughts on that fight, and do you feel like there's a good chance we might see a new champion here? I feel, I feel like we may see a new champion, but I feel like Izzy's crazy enough to shoot a double. I think he's been in MMA longer than Pereira, you know, um, and I think he's an entertainer, so he may pull out something crazy, shoot some doubles, or you know what I mean? I think a couple fights he should have to do a triangle, you know, so he has some grappling experience, you know, probably more than Pereira. Uh, Pereira's tough, though. We'll see, though. I, yeah, I'm, I'll be tuned in. And, and I'm sure, obviously, the belt is what's on your mind. You know, everybody wants to be champion. How far do you see yourself from that goal? 2023, UFC champ. It's, it's, on, it's on my window. It's on my wall. It's everywhere I be, everywhere I'm at. So, uh, UFC champ by 2023. Let's do it. And uh, I don't want to steal your shine. Again, remember, uh, you're returning at the end of the month. But I got to ask you about, about Bo Nickel, because that seems to be sort of the talk of the town. I know he's ATT and all that, but... Um, what are your impressions of Bo Nickel and Contender Series, and what do you make of him being in the UFC? Obviously, a stud wrestler. There's no denying that. But three and zero, and now in the biggest organization, and one of the toughest weight classes. Uh, Bo Nickel, um, I got work to do on 29. But Bo Nickel, take me out to dinner, baby. What's up? You know, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready for Bo. If he wants to get it, let's get it. How, how do you? Ha what have you made of his skill set? Do you feel like he's he's uh, ready for the UFC? That was one thing in Contender Series. Like, they didn't give him the shot the first time around thinking he wasn't ready. Do you feel like he can he can hang in with uh, UFC caliber guys? Yeah, of course. He's an elite-level uh, wrestler, you know what I mean? And that, and that holds a lot of weight. But when someone's jabbing you up and someone's not afraid to get taken down, like, 
it's a different ball game. You know, we're not wrestling anymore. You know, you see some of the some of the best wrestlers come over and they don't do as well. But you see some of the you see some who doesn't have a great pedigree of wrestling do amazing. Like Demetrius Johnson, how many times do you take down Hemi Cerruto? And Sir Hemi Cerruto is an Olympic champion. You know what I mean? Um, uh, who took down uh, DC? Uh, Jones. Jones took him down, and Jones is a, only a college Juco national champ like myself. You know. So wrestling does play a big factor, but this is we're fighting the same wrestling. Yeah. So yeah. I can't wait to put hands on them. All right, Phil. Well, I appreciate the time. Best of luck in your fight against Roman Deliz. Looking forward to it.